In this short video series for educators, we will explain how to manage Ozobot Evo robots using Ozobot Classroom. It is highly recommended that educators update, name, and label bots before distributing them to students or starting a lesson. Before you begin, make sure you have a Bluetooth-enabled computer or Chromebook that is compatible with Ozobot Classroom. You can find a compatibility chart at ozo.bot slash compatibility. If you are planning on updating multiple bots, turn off any auto screensaver or sleep settings that can interrupt updates. To update a single Evo, you will need a compatible computer, Ozobot Evo, and a USB charger. To update multiple Evos, you'll need a compatible computer, an Ozobot Classroom Communicator, and a charging base. Place all these devices on the same desk or no more than five feet from each other. Make sure all other bots in the area, up to 75 feet, are turned off. The classroom communicator can update a maximum of 18 EVOs at a time. Now that you have everything ready, let's go to classroom.ozobot.com and go to devices. You're in devices. To get the latest firmware and the best performance from your bot, always check your Evo for updates. Plug Evo in to charge. Evo's LEDs flash green while charging. In your computer settings, turn Bluetooth on. Click Pair Now next to Single Evo. A Bluetooth pairing window will appear. Select your Evo and click Pair. If you are not able to pair your bot, make sure you are using a compatible computer and browser. To see the compatibility chart, go to ozo.bot slash compatibility or the help section of Ozobot Classroom. Once paired, your Evo will begin to update automatically. The update should take four to six minutes. During the update, do not leave the devices page. Keep the browser window visible and on top of other windows. Don't allow your computer to sleep or shut down. Once the update is complete, click Connect Evo to pair again. Select Evo in the pairing window, then click Pair. If Evo updated successfully, its top LED turns green. If an update fails, its top LED turns red. Repeat the steps in this video or contact support at ozobot.com if your bot fails to update. You're in devices. To get the latest firmware and the best performance from your bots, always check your Evos for updates. Plug Evos in to charge using a charging base or individual USB charging cables. Evos LEDs flash green while charging. Plug your classroom communicator into a powered outlet, like a phone or tablet charger or a powered USB hub. In your computer settings, turn on Bluetooth. In Devices, click Pair Now next to Multiple Evos and Classroom Communicator. A Bluetooth pairing window will appear. In the window, select your communicator, which will be named OCC followed by more characters, then click Pair. Up to 18 EVOs will appear on the devices page as they pair. This process takes about a minute. Once paired, EVOs stop flashing green and Classroom displays the status of their batteries and firmware. If an EVO needs to be updated, an update button appears under status and the bot's top LED turns orange. Click Update All at the top of the list. Updating takes four to six minutes for each bot. While updating, an Evo's LEDs turn blue. Once the update is complete and successful, its top LED turns green and another bot starts updating. During the update, do not leave the devices page. Keep the browser window visible and on top of other windows. Don't allow your computer to sleep or shut down. If an update fails, that Evo's top LED turns red. Simply click Update All again, and only the remaining bots will be updated. 
If some EVOs still fail to update, repeat the steps in this video or contact support at ozabot.com. Before naming or renaming EVOs, follow the steps in the update videos to connect. You can choose to connect and name a single EVO or multiple EVOs from devices. To rename a single EVO, click on the More Options menu for your connected EVO and select Rename EVO. Keep your EVO's name short since the character limit is 13. To start the process of renaming multiple EVOs, make sure you're connected to all bots with your classroom communicator, then click on a bot's name. That bot's LEDs will flash blue four times to help you find it. Click on the More Options menu for your selected EVO, then click Rename. Type in a new name. Many teachers name their bots in a numbered series, like EVO 1, EVO 2, EVO 3, and so on. Remember the character limit is 13. Click Save and the bot you just renamed will flash blue four times. We recommend labeling your bots with the same names you set in Ozobot Classroom. Be careful not to hide any sensors or LED lights with your label. The perfect spot for a label is just above Evo's wheels. You can find label stickers in most classroom kits, or you can use a label maker or Avery quarter inch round stickers. Evo's LED lights can tell you a lot and help you troubleshoot. When an Evo is in use and needs to charge, its rear LED flashes red. Charge, flashing green LEDs mean it's actively charging. Solid green LEDs mean it's fully charged. Flashing red LEDs while charging indicate a very low battery. When your bot is paired in Ozobot Classroom, a green top LED means that bot is up to date. An orange top LED means an update is available, and a blue top LED means that your bot is already in the queue for an update. When an update is in progress, all of an updating bot's LEDs turn blue. Once an update is successful, its front LEDs turn green. A red top LED means an update failed and you should try again. 